What I'm going to demonstrate is the speed variation to the Age of War dice game by Fantasy Flight Games. Now this game will play from two to six players, and the speed variation I'm going to show, you can play this thing three times faster than normal. It goes really fast, and it's really fun variation for when you're waiting for players to show up to your game night. You can lay this thing out, and in 15 minutes or less, you can have three to six players play through this. Now before I get to the variation rules, I'm going to give a quick uh, overview of the actual rules to the game. Feel free to just to fast forward through it if you already are familiar with this game. If you've never heard of this game before, this is a really good filler game. It goes really fast and it's really well done. Now here's a close-up of some of the cards of the Age of War uh, dice game. Basically you have these cards which are castles that you're trying to take over. And the game gives you a set of seven dice, each with different symbols on each side. And what you want to do is you want to try to put your dice on the card to claim that particular castle. Now the trick is that you have to claim them by rows. In other words, if you roll all the dice and you get everything you need to claim the whole castle, you can't claim it that way. Basically what you have to do is you have to roll the dice and you have to do it row by row. So here if I rolled a bow, I would put a bow and then I go down and work on the next row. So if I roll the dice again, I'm going to have to roll another bow. I didn't roll another bow, but let's say I've got seven swords. I've got seven swords here and now I've got three dice left in order to get the final bow. So I rolled the final bow and in this case I have claimed the castle and I will put this on my side of the table showing that uh, at the moment I have two points. Now sometimes you're not always going to be successful in getting the rolls you want in order to claim a castle. So if we go back to the one that we had here where we need two bows and seven swords, if we roll the dice and let's say I got a bow on the first one and we'll roll the dice again and I didn't get a bow but I did get seven swords now notice that I've got more than seven swords. More is fine. You don't have to roll the exact amount. But then my final roll, I want to try to get a bow. So if I roll the dice and I failed, I did not get a bow in this case. In that case, you have to take one die and set it aside. And you're not allowed to roll that die anymore. Now we have another time to try to roll a bow. In here I was unsuccessful, I did not roll a bow again, so I've got one final chance to roll a bow. And there's only one on this die, so I've got a 1 in 6 chance of rolling a bow. Okay, I did not roll a bow with my final attempt, so I did not get to claim the castle. It stays in the middle, and other people during the next turn can attempt to claim it. Now each of these castles are worth a different amount of points, but if you collect every castle of the same color, you can lock them in. In other words, no one can steal them. So there are four yellows, so if you happen to claim all four yellows, basically you can just put them in a stack and that's worth 10 points, whereas individually it's worth less. That's five, six, seven. It's only worth seven points. So if you only claim three of them, you're not going to get as many points as if you had claimed all four of the castles. Also, if you've only claimed a few, let's say when you, uh, you claim one, uh, this is only temporary. Somebody else can possibly steal the castle from you. So if somebody is attempting to steal the castle from you, they'll roll their dice and they'll put one on each of the symbols and have to roll again and put one on each of the symbols. But to steal it, they will have to get an extra general. Okay, so if they roll an extra general, then they can actually take it from you and put it on their side of the table. Now in order to play this speed variant, you're going to need three copies of the game. In other words, you need three sets of dice, and the, the box only comes with one set of dice. So you're going to have to buy three copies of the game to do this. Now even though you have three copies of the game, we're only going to use one set of cards from the game. So take the other cards from the other sets and put them aside. Eventually these will be so beat up from playing this game that you'll, you'll throw these away and use some of the other sets. Okay, so what I've done is I've set these up kind of in a pyramid fashion. And uh, what I've got is I've kind of grouped them in order to color. I've got the one green, the three whites, uh, two blacks, two reds, four yellows, and then two purples. That just kind of organizes a little bit on the table. What I would do is I would lay them out in this fashion and then take masking tape or if you want to use just put rulers or something to kind of form a triangle so that one player is here, one's on that side, another player's on this side, and when you claim a castle you put it on your side of the line, he claims it, he puts it on his side of the line so that you know who has claimed what. 
Another thing that's a really good idea for this variation is to get yourself some trays. Because as you'll see in the video that actually shows the gameplay of this, dice go flying all over the table even with the trays. And it would be a crazy mess if you didn't have something to actually roll these dice into. Now if you only have two players, you just have two players playing and this side wouldn't even be used. If you have three, all three sides will be used. If you have four players, you'll have a team of two, a team of two, and then nobody by themselves. Uh, five players, you could have two, two, and one. In six players, you have a team of two, a team of two, and a team of two. And teams of two works really well for this. Now, the crux of the whole game here is that everyone rolls at the same time. So basically, you have kind of a countdown where you, everybody, make sure everybody's got the dice in their hands, ready to go, and then somebody, whoever you say, will go three, two, one, roll. And then everyone will roll at the same time. Now, the thing is that the first person to see what they have and to get it down onto the card, they suddenly, you know, they put it down here. So they're going to start working on this castle. Now this person over here may have the same thing to start for this castle, but they didn't get their dice on it. So the first guy to get their dice on that castle, that's the one they're going to work on. So this player right here has got like, uh, he's got six swords, so we might, you know, he might start to claim this one that only needs five swords. This player that rolled here, holy cow, he got all swords. That's just insane. And there's one of these that uh, has got ten swords. Oh, this one right over here. That's got ten swords. So what he can do is he can go start working on this one. And that one he would have completely won, so he would put that on his side of the table. And then everybody has to finish their rolls and see if they were successful in their attempt to claim that castle. Let's say in this particular case he was unable to claim it, so that would stay there. Let's say in this particular case he was able to claim it, and this would stay here. Now, at this point, uh, if you have teams, the next person would switch and then they would be rolling the dice. Whereas their teammates are going to be looking out on the table saying, okay, we've got the purple one, we want to go for the other purple one. If you roll what you need, that way we can lock that purple one down. But the other team over here is saying, hey, we've got to stop him from getting that purple one because if he gets the purple one, he's going to lock it down. So the teammate is going to be looking out for ways of which one they want to get and which one they get their dice on first in order to stop the guy from locking this purple one in. And everyone rolls at the same time. So if we do it again, basically everybody gets their dice in hand for the next roll. We switch teammates, so the other guy is rolling. And we go three, two, one, roll. And everyone will roll at the same time. Now our rule is if you get a die that's kind of locked up against the edge here, you get to re-roll that. If one goes bouncing over the table somewhere, you get to re-roll that. So only the ones that lay flat down on the table are the ones you can use. And so at this point, you know, he's rolled two bows. It's like, well, I can't do that. That's a bow and a horse. Ah, we got two bows. I like, oh, well, this one is right here. That one would be the good one to go because if I can get it, I can stop him from locking those in. But I've got to get my dice on it first. Now, there are times in which two people are going to try to claim this same one at the same time. In other words, this player wants to put it on here. This player wants to put it on here. And there are those rare occasions that you both get it down at the same time. In this case, if both players go like this, and they both get them down at the same time, what you do is you let them both compete for the castle and the first one to get the castle gets it. So now at this point it's a race. They're both trying to, this guy over here is trying to get two bows, this guy over here is trying to get two horses. So they're both rolling at the same time as fast as they can. No, I didn't get one. So they take one out and then they, they roll again. I gotta get two horses, two horses, come on. No, I got one. Well that one didn't count. So the other person over here is doing the same thing as fast as they can to try to claim the castles. And that's basically the game in a nutshell. And it works out really nice, the strategies of you and your buddy trying to figure out which ones you want to claim, which ones you have the good dice rolls for, and which ones you want to do to block. Because it's possible that neither of them got this purple card. And so while one player, this one has got the purple card, he's claimed it first, he's going to try to get it. Well, this player sitting over here doesn't want him to get it. So what he might do is he might 
put his dice on the one that he's got over here on that same round. And if this guy's successful in winning the castle, this guy's successful from stealing it from him, then he doesn't get to lock it in. So in other words, if uh, you own this one and somebody is attempting to steal from you, you have to wait till that round is completely over and settle. Now, if this guy claims this one and this player on this side was unable to steal it from him at the end of that round and everybody's done rolling, he successfully has got both. He successfully locks him in for eight points. So that's basically, in a nutshell, how this works. And it's a really fast, fun variation. So I will go ahead and uh, play the clip of the game night. And this game that we have six players, in this case we only had three players because we had three people doing it, but six players is actually much more fun. And in under 15 minutes, we knock this game out while people are arriving to uh, uh, you know, participate in your game night. Uh, we'll go ahead and start. Everybody go ahead, uh, dice in hand. Uh, three, two, one, roll. Whoever gets a dice on them first gets that particular castle. And so, if you don't have anything to put on a particular line like this one, you didn't have one to put down, so he had to sacrifice a die. And that one had to sacrifice two dice now. And this one successfully claimed a castle, and this one successfully claimed a castle, and uh, this fella had no luck claiming a castle. So we, uh, you notice there's a, a black one here and a black one here. So this player is going to try to attempt to get this black castle as well. If he can claim them both, then he'll lock them down for four points instead of, you know, one and two for three. And this one's a white one, but uh, this player's got two more to get if he wants to get them. And if any of these players wants to steal one from this player, he has to fill these lines plus an additional general. Okay, dice in hand, three, two, one, roll. First one on him gets it. <laughs> Usually trying to get the doubles is hard. The double horses are the horse and the bow. There we go. Oh, you got one more shot to try to get a bow. Last one on there. Last one. Oh, we got it. Look at that. Look at that. That is the toughest one to get. That was your die right there. Doesn't count if you don't roll another thing. This one is a green one, and that's the only one of its kind. So if you flip it over, he's locked that three points in, and nobody can steal it because it's the only one. So no luck on that one. No luck on that one. Okay, so dice in hand. Three, two, one. Roll. First one of the bows. Oh my god. He had all bows except for uh, one general. <laughs> Dang. That's crazy. <laughs> Five bows. How Good do you do Lord. that? How do you do that? Jeez Louise. I've never seen such. Uh. Oh, you got it. He got both the black ones. So those get flipped over, and nobody can steal those from him, and he's got four points <sighs> on that one. Well, they should have had a card that's all bows. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah. We'll walk into I'm an still... elevator and hear the word steal. I love the word steal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm videotaping this game oh. real quick here. So. This is perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, roll. Okay. Ron's going to continue to try to get the white ones to lock them down. This player has got uh, one of the red ones. He's going to trim it, but he needs two horses, and he doesn't have any bows over there. So he's going to try to figure out how, uh, what a way, I don't think he's going to, oh he's got the, got the bows, anytime it rolls against the side of the tray you can re-roll that die. Oh. I need the general in three. Okay. You got a general, you just need a three sword now. It's best to leave the swords to last because you can add up, you got it, you got the second one of the whites. So he's got two of the whites, so some of the other players might try to claim that white next time. If they can get their dice on it first, they can stop Ron from... <laughs> you can stop this player from getting it. Oh, you got two of them. You got both of them. You locked those down. Okay. Three, two, one, roll. That's yours, Ron. Well. Well. <laughs> well. 
No. No, look at no, no, the horses. Look at, now you get all horses. <laughs> oh my god, that was fast. That was okay, fast. Two horses. Okay. They're still finishing up the rolls. You just gotta get three swords. You just gotta get three swords. That one's a re-roll. I like your shoes too. Oh no, it's last chance. You gotta get a three. Oh, nope, nope, we didn't get it. Yeah, see that player was trying to get that white go. one to keep from Did you get it? Six. Okay, yeah. So you got one of the yellow ones. We'll just set it right here. Okay, so there's four in the yellow set. He has to get the others. Okay, dice in hand. Three, two, one, roll. <laughs> he got his die on it first. If he can claim that one, he'll lock in that purple one. That was a three. Uh huh. Or whatever, but I had. Did you have it? Okay, you got all ten on that one. Okay. Whoa. Playing Twister. Okay. We roll that die. Ha. Oh, he's trying to steal it. He's got to get an extra general if he wants to steal that one from him. If he's successful, he won't be able to lock that one in because we're doing it all during his turn. You got to get that general. Two chances to get a general. Get a general no. will. One chance. One get chance to get a general. Will. Oh, uh, re-roll, okay. re-roll, he's got oh, nervous. The Throwing it across the table. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I didn't get it, didn't get it. So he locked that one down. Locked it down, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, we only got three cards left. Once all the cards are gone, game's over. Three, two, one, roll. <clears throat> oh, horse and a bow. That's a tough one to get, Ron. You uh -huh. got to get another horse and a bow. Are you in the game? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Oh man! Oh, well, you, you got to throw away a die if you don't use one anyway. Yeah. So it's a horse and a bow. You got to re-roll that horse and a bow. Oh, no, you got to throw one aside. Horse and bow. Come on, Ron. Nope. You didn't get it. Only two cards left. Let's see if anybody tries to steal you. Somebody can take this one, and, or somebody steal it from Ron. But we'll see. Okay, three, two, one, go. He <laughs> had the horse on the bow, and he stuck his die on it first. He's probably not going to get it. Yeah, he got nothing. Seven swords. That's a tough one. Seven swords. That is a tough one. Ooh, but you got it. Look at that. Six. It takes three dice to get seven swords anyway. All you need is a bow now, Ron. All you need is a bow. I, you got I used all my bows up. <laughs> yeah, you had, you had like five of them. Oh, you got it. Got it. That's the yellow one right there. Oh, and somebody stole the, uh, he stole oh, the yellow one from you. Huge. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> okay. Whoops. Hang on. Okay. Dice in hand. I was paying attention to my team. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, roll. <laughs> he's making sure. All you can do now is since he's claimed that one, other people can just try to steal ones that are open. That's the only oh, choice no. they have. Now, if two people had stuck their dice on at the exact same time, I would have let them both of them attempt to roll, and whichever one completed the rolls first would get that tassel. Uh, I need five. Five? Nope, 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 nope. Okay, he's still trying. He's got to get what, a horse? Yeah. All you got to do is get a horse. Got it. Stole the yellow one from him. At least he's not uh, okay. Ready to go again. See a man about a horse. Okay. Three, two, one, roll. Well, it doesn't matter. He didn't have a horse and a bow anyway. <laughs> oh, he had a horse and a bow. You should have used those. <laughs> and you got a re-roll anyway. Maybe you'll get it again, and maybe you won't. <laughs> Yeah, might as well start stealing the yellow ones back. Well, you got the bow, but no horse. Uh, nope, nope. You didn't get it. Bow and a general. Need a bow and a general for this one right over here. Got the bow. Just got to get one general out of four dice. You should be able to get that. Oh, got to throw one out. You got three dice. No you get a general. Got it. Look at that. What'd you say? No, no. <laughs> you, you stuttering over there? Yeah. 
Okay, so we got three of them, and if he steals the last yellow one, he can lock those yellow ones in. And with this one's still up for grabs, so three, two, one, go. Got it! He got the horse in a bow, man. Let's see if he can get it. Let's see if he can get it. Horse in a bow. Horse in a bow! Look at that! You just got to get three swords now. Not going to be easy. Got him! Three swords. Look at that. Look at that. Is that the third? There's three. Yeah, you locked him in. You locked him in. Okay. Oh, this, this is the last one. Yeah, see, that's the last card, so... What did you go for, Will? Nothing. You got it. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> doesn't change anything anyway. <laughs> okay, so if we look at the score, this player here ended up with four points. This player here got uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, right? And this player here got eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So by one point, right? <laughs> got it by one point. Excellent. That's a demonstration on three players.